today we're going to be doing a lore episode on Rexar. I haven't done one of these in a while, so bear with me. I'll try and do my best. Rexar uh, was first seen in the game Warcraft 3, uh, the campaign Reign of Chaos. And we find out that he is a Machnathal, which means he's half orc, half ogre. Orcs originally bred half ogres to combine the power of an ogre with the intelligence and cunning of an orc. However, half ogres proved to be more stubborn than either race, bearing a horrendous independent streak. Little could change a half ogre's mind at once set, so the project was scrapped. Shaman orcs honor half ogres as noble and savage creatures of the land, but the plan died out, and so there were very few of them because um, few orcs are willing to breed with a gigantic ogre. So the orcs that came from this union, the Machnathal, are outcasts basically of society. They're not really accepted by the orcs or by the ogres. So they naturally withdrew into the wilderness and became, a lot of them became beastmasters. So beastmasters are a wilderness warrior who is able to call forth the creatures of the forest to serve him. These lone wandering forest dwellers come from all backgrounds and cultures, seeking the essence of combat through the mimicry of wild beasts. Among the most gifted hunters, there are those who have from birth felt a profound bond with the creatures of the wild. These beastmasters are drawn to the perilous primal world, invigorated by its dangerous and untamed nature. Primitive landscape becomes home, ferocious predator becomes kin. Whether in the thrill of the hunt or the heat of battle, beastmasters call forth a litany of vicious animals to overwhelm prey and gnaw at their enemy's will. So Rexar's father, uh, we get to meet in World of Warcraft through different questing, um, is actually half ogre himself. He's not an ogre. So Rexar is like one-fourth ogre. But he's very large and brown instead of what we had come to believe was like normal orc green skin. Uh, he kind of stands out as being larger and brown. And he wields two massive axes. So uh, when they made his hero power um, a bow in Hearthstone, I think it's because that sort of went along more with the fantasy of the hunter class. But Rexar himself uh, in the games is always wields two giant axes and is accompanied everywhere by his massive black wolf, Haratha. Rexar, his, his personality didn't go along well with everything that the orcs were doing in Draenor. When they were a peaceful people, a hunter-gatherer people, he was fine. But then when Gul'dan and Ner'zhul started to to twist the people into this like bloodthirsty race that attacked the gent gentle Drenai and then made the portals and attacked the humans on Azeroth. All of the the war and the violence and the senseless killing. He actually um an orcish warlock attacked him for standing up to them and saying he didn't want to be a part of everything that they were doing. And Haratha, his constant companion, jumped in the way of the warlock spell and was drained of life in front of him. So Rexar killed the warlock, but he had lost Haratha forever because of his own people, his own kind. So when he went through the portal into Azeroth, he just kind of 
disappeared into the wilderness. He had to leave Draenor with the rest of his kin because Draenor was dying. Because of the demon magics, because of all the things that the warlocks were doing, they were sucking their entire planet of life, so he couldn't live there. But when he came through the portal, he just kind of disappeared into the Azeroth's forests and started living among the creatures there and making friendships and bonds with animals in the forests. He tried to get his people to listen. He said he wanted to live a peaceful life in a small piece of land where the Alliance would never find them. But Grom Hellscream, the leader at that time, said that orcs were supposed to conquer and he was never willing to leave the Alliance in peace. And this is where Rexar's famous line comes. Only beasts are above de deceit? I have watched the other races. I have seen their squabbling, their ruthlessness. Their wars do nothing but scar the land and drive the wild things to extinction. No, they cannot be trusted. Only beasts are above deceit. So he left the Horde to wander the world. And through his journeys in the wilderness, he came to befriend a bear named Misha, who would come whenever summoned by Rexar. Together they traveled to Kalimdor, where they roamed the barrens away from civilization. But his journeys had seen nothing but wars among the so-called civilized creatures. Upon one of his journeys, however, he encountered Mogrin, an orc warrior who came under attack by a group of quill boars. A uh, hench clan thug and hench clan shade quill are examples of quill boars in uh, Hearthstone cards. Rexar tried to help the orc, but the quill boars had struck a fatal blow, and the warrior fell. In his last wish, Mogrin asked Rexar to deliver a message to Thrall the orc war chief in the city of Ogrimmar, and to keep Mogren's death an honorable one. So Rexar agreed, and he made the journey to Ogrimmar. When Rexar went to Ogrimmar to deliver the message, he was surprised at how the formerly demonic orcs had become a working civilization under Thrall. Thrall returned Rexar's admiration and invited him to stay in Durotar as long as he wanted. So this is where you kind of um, get to play as Rexar if you're playing the, the campaign in Warcraft 3. So since he decided to stay in Duratar, he wanted to earn his keep and be helpful and not just kind of sit around and, and be beholden to them. So he started doing odd jobs around the city. Quests! Questing! First, he retrieved some rare shimmerweed from Duratar for Frostwolf Chieftain Drekthar. Then he killed a harpy queen for Thrall's advisor, Nazgrel. After that, he collapsed some kobold mining columns for the goblin, Gazlo. In his journeys, he befriended a Pandaren brewmaster. I wonder if you can guess what his name is. And helped out a friendly orc shaman. This is how Rexar becomes part of the Horde for a while under Thrall, who he begins to trust. At this point in time, Thrall has a treaty of non-violence with their nearest neighbors, Jaina Proudmoore's people, in Theramor. However, without her knowledge, her father, Admiral Proudmoore, has been stirring up trouble and has no problem killing orcs or trolls or basically anything that's not human. So Thrall sets up a meeting with Jaina out in the forest so that they can find out what's going on. But as the leader of the orc people right now, it's kind of like the president. Um, he can't just go out and put himself in danger. So he sends Rexar in his place to find out. And sure enough, they get ambushed on the way to the meeting. So they manage to fight off their attackers and defeat them. And Rexar and the, the orcs that have gone with them decide that they're going to make it to see Jaina anyway in Theramore. So they set up some explosions outside of the fence to sort of draw the attention of the soldiers in Theramor off in that direction. And then in the confusion, they managed to slip into Theramor and meet up with Jaina. And she is horrified when she learns what's happening. 
And Rexar sees how upset she is when she learns of all the things that her father has been doing. So he starts to trust her as well. When uh, her father arrives and sees the orcs with her, he immediately orders Rexar's capture, but she stops him and Rexar is able to escape in the confusion. At this point, Rexar starts gathering allies for Thrall among the different races outside of Ogrimmar, because he can see that a conflict is coming against somebody who just wants to exterminate them. Somebody who there isn't really any reasoning with. So Vol'jin is the leader of the Dark Spear Trolls at that time. So in order to impress him and get him to join them, he goes and does a bunch of quests for him. And then goes to the Torin tribes to talk to Karen Bloodhoof. But Karen tells him he's done fighting and he should go tell Thrall that Karen is dead. He talks to Karen's people and he finds out that his son, Karen's son, has been captured by harpies, which has caused him to be overwhelmed with depression. So Rexar and the Torrens rescue Karen's son. And now, of course, he's got the chieftain's support. Then he went to the Stone Mall Ogres in Destwallow Marsh, where again he has to prove his warrior spirit by running through a bunch of battles and, and a gauntlet of tests to impress them. And then he is still set against the, the Ogre's chieftain, who refuses to become an ally, so he has to defeat him. And then he becomes the head of the Stone Mall Ogres because of his mixed ancestry. Now, in the fight against the chieftain, Kogal, um, who was like a massive ogre, very strong and a, a good warrior, he used the help of his animal friends and then returns to Thrall with all of these allies, the Dark Spirit Trolls and the Torin and these ogres. And impressed by his incredible feats, he's honored by Thrall with the title champion of the horde so altogether the horde fight admiral pradmore and pursue him back to the shores of theramor thrall sent in his foot soldiers to keep pradmore's forces at bay while rexar and his few companions weave through the battle to face off against pradmore and his most loyal retainers in the end rexar is the one who kills jaina's father with Proudmoore's defeat, the battle grinds to a halt and Jaina collapses in tears on the body of her father. Rexar attempts to comfort Jaina by telling her that above all else, her father was a proud warrior and he should be remembered like that. Then Rexar, Thrall, and the rest of the Horde withdraw from Theramore. Thrall invites Rexar to return to Durotar with him, but Rexar says his place is still in the wild. But he says he will always be a part of the Horde, and he will always be there when he's needed. He makes a new leader of the Stone Mall clan in his place and disappears into the wilderness. In Burning Crusade, the expansion of World of Warcraft, uh, where we go back to Draenor, we open a portal and go back to Draenor. Rexar is able to return to look for his father and his clan with his wyvern, Leoc. The Unseen Path is the name of the most widely membered hunter organization on Azeroth. And they consider Rexar one of the greatest hunters of their time. He's heard of the order, but he thinks they're kind of boring. <laughs> and he's never really cared to be a part of it. But while he was camping out in High Mountain with Misha, he was approached by the group's new hunt master, which, by the way, is you if you play a hunter in World of Warcraft, and you go out and try to recruit him to be a part of the Unseen Path. And he sets you a challenge. Survive the night in the wilds, much like he himself does, because he thinks the Unseen Path does too much watching and waiting and doesn't have enough action. So if you 
survive all of the challenges that Rexar gives you, he agrees to join your organization and sends a message that, well, this is what he says. An old threat has resurfaced, stronger than ever. Azeroth needs hunters like you who are willing to survive at all costs. As the leader of the Unseen Path, many will look to you for guidance. Show them that they can survive. I will stand beside you, and together we will send a message that we can endure, even in the face of an enemy as great as the Burning Legion. In the most recent expansion of World of Warcraft, Rexar has to go up against one of his old friends, Jaina Proudmore, because the Alliance and the Horde are at each other's throats again. Rexar says that Jaina has gone too far and killed too many. So to fulfill his promise to Thrall to protect the Horde he loves, he will fight until either the war ends or he does. As a Beastmaster, Rexar has befriended many creatures in his travels. Though he is most often seen with his faithful bear Misha, he has also been known to call upon other animal friends when needed. So Haratha was his first, the wolf. Then Misha, the bear, Spirit, a hawk, Huffer, a boar, Leoc, a wyvern, and Huelo, another wolf. It is said that I hunt alone, wandering these bitter lands far from civilization. But in truth, I hunt with family, one that I hold close. I protect them, and they protect me. I am Rexar, champion of the Horde, and I never 